When working with large spreadsheets, it's important to keep track of crucial bits of data. Look at this sheet. I've scrolled down twice and all I see is a confusing jumble of phone names and I have no idea which phone falls under which list. But don't worry, there's a simple fix for this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to freeze rows and columns in Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. Hi everyone, I'm Aman from Gadget360 and you're watching Office Space, our series dedicated to making your life with Office apps much easier. Before I start, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel if you like our content. Also hit that bell icon so that you're notified whenever a brand new video drops. With that said, let's get started. This is my sample spreadsheet. Over here, I've got about 20 columns and up to 100 rows. Now, when I scroll, I want my header to stay on top, which in this case isn't happening. Also, for instance, if I scroll sideways, I want the first column to always stay at its place. So, how do we fix this? First of all, you hit view in the ribbon above and click freeze panes. You will now see three options over here. To keep the top row visible while scrolling through the spreadsheet, you need to click freeze top row. As you can see, as much as I scroll now, the header stays at its place. Similarly, if I want to scroll sideways and want the first column to stay at its place, I'll select freeze first column. Now the problem is by selecting these options, you can either freeze the first column or the first row at a time. So what do you do if you want to freeze both? Check this. There's an option right next to freeze panes called split. Click on it. You'll now see two thick gray lines. Now all you need to do is drag these gray lines to the first cell of the first column. I'm going to drop this here. Now once again, I'm going to click freeze panes. From the drop down menu, I will again click freeze panes. As you can see, whenever I scroll in whichever direction now, the top row and the first column stay at their places. This is my sample spreadsheet. So to freeze panes in Google Sheets, you first click view and hover the cursor over freeze. From the options that are available, you can select one row or two rows to freeze up to two rows from the top. Similarly, you can select one column or two columns to freeze up to two columns. Apart from this, if you want to freeze multiple rows and columns, for instance, I want to freeze columns till column E and rows till row 7. In this case, I'm going to click and select column E. Then I'm going to tap view. Then I'm going to hover over freeze and select up to current column E. Similarly, for the rows, I'm going to click on 7 to select that particular row and I'm going to again go to view then I'll click freeze and select up to current row 7. And this is how it looks like. Now besides this method, there's also a drag and drop method which looks quite similar to Excel's split method. So when you hover the cursor over this empty box in the top left corner, you'll notice you can expand these thick gray bars. For example, if I want to freeze the first column, I'm simply going to drag this gray bar and drop it right where column A ends. This way, I can endlessly scroll sideways and the first column always stays at its place. Similarly, I can drag the other gray bar towards the bottom and I'm going to drop it right below cell 1. This way, when I scroll to the bottom, the top row stays at its place. 
And yes, you can implement this method for all the rows and columns by simply dragging and dropping the gray bars according to your preference. And that's how you can freeze the rows and columns in Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. Hit the like button if you learned something new and do share this video with others. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com. See you next Tuesday.